artist look, I apply my Revlon Photo Finish Primer to make sure that the makeup doesn't melt during the day. I then go in, apply my gel kit to the brows. It's almost finished, but it works anyway. I draw my brows, elongating the tail until my liking. And sometimes I do it longer, sometimes I do it shorter. It depends on how I want it to look. So, to clean up the brows, I am using my Allegro Pro in Fawn. I blend, blend, blend. And once I am satisfied with the result, with the blending, I then add my foundation, which is my one and only black opal in Carob. I blend everything and I'm so sorry guys because here in the blending process my camera died I didn't notice and uh, I also applied my concealers without knowing that the camera was off so I didn't record it I can't show it to you guys but I am sure that you guys know how to blend everything moving on to the eyes I apply my Allegro Pro in found with dark cocoa blend everything so that I will have a good base for the eyeshadow that I will apply. I then set everything in place using my Sasha Buttercup. And since you guys know that I am not a baking girl, I'm now going to take off the powder after like one minute. I dust it off, then I go back to my brows kit and I use the powder solution to sculpt my cheeks a little bit better. I then drag the brush to my forehead just to give a little bit of warmth to the forehead. To uniformize the look a little bit better, to make the concealer melt with my foundation and with the contouring, I apply my regular foundation, which is my Makeup Forever Pearl Finish in 177. I blend everything and I don't put a big amount onto the area that I have concealed because I don't want the concealing to be removed. After that, I applied my makeup setting spray. By the way, guys, I have the Awadi setting spray. So, for the eye look today, I am using my Sleek Makeup Palette in Eye Divine. And from this palette, I am taking maple and blush combined together. I blend, blend, blend. Blend everything and I keep adding until I'm satisfied with the intensity of the look. So for my lower lashes, I apply flesh first. I blend everything. I then go in using maple. So, to intensify the look a little bit more, I add paper bag.
now I still add a little bit of maple just to make the colors uniformize a little bit more a little bit better so for the eyeliner I am using my Inglo 77 gel liner so I go in applying my blush which is from Kiko I apply to the cheeks I then go in applying my highlighter to the higher point of my cheeks to the other cheek, to my cupid's bow, to the nose, onto the side of my forehead. I then drench my face again with the setting spray. So for the lips, I am using my lip balm because first I love to moisturize my lips. And for this look today, I am using my brush, my lip brush, to draw the line of my mouth using my Vampire Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D. I then put my Boho 5 from Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the middle of the lip and the look is pretty much done but last but not least are the false lashes I am applying my false lashes which I got from Amazon no sorry they were from Aliexpress I take the measurement of my, my lashes I then cut it add the glue And that's it. The look is done. Simple, easy, and nice. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down there and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. And yeah, we are going to see you in the next. Bye and peace out.